Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see why is it that they're staying silent? Why aren't, why aren't they communicating? Okay, what's on their mind? Um, you know, what's all this silent treatment? It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. So we want to know why isn't your person communicating? Or even if they're communicating, um, why have they been acting weird or strange and not their usual self lately? What's going on with them? Let me bring this one here, pull out another one. All right, um, <clears throat> so I think it's important for you to know that your person is very, very confused. There's a lot of inconsistencies, there's a lot of emotional as well as mental uncertainties in your person's energy I'm getting this very big push and pull this emotional this emotional tug of war in your person's energy this they're right now they're basically entangled in a very painful in a very turbulent emotional tug of war this person is just I feel like they have all sorts of emotions um, going on inside of them, okay? Five of Wands, they're, I feel like they're trying to fight their feelings, okay? I also feel like they're struggling instead of, and this is what's making it worse, because instead of confronting or instead of processing some of these feelings, they're getting very overwhelmed because they're trying to suppress or they're trying to push, you know, there's pushback and there's a resistance towards what they're feeling and they're getting very fatigued, there's a lot that's going on with your person's energy and I can see that they're very frustrated, that they're very angry as well and I can see that they're feeling powerless. They don't want to feel this way because what happens is they feel as though they have no control over their situation, they have no control over their feelings, you know, over the situation with you as well but they don't know how to stop feeling this way, they don't. The more that they try to fight and resist, the worse that it becomes. So your person is definitely confused. I feel like they want to communicate, but they don't know how to say. Or even so, they just don't know whether communication is a good thing. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of feelings here that they can't get rid of. And they're trying to, don't get me wrong, they're trying to get rid of these emotions, but they're going about it all the wrong way. So, you know, they're trying to avoid them, they're trying to suppress them, they're trying to resist them, they just wish up, you know, they just, sorry, uh, wish that whatever it is that they're feeling right now would just hurry up and be over. And, you know, although this is a natural, okay, I feel like this is only a natural response to what they're going through, um, because nobody likes pain, nobody likes feeling, un you know, uncertain or confused. But the problem is that, you know, some of these some of the ways that they're trying to get feel, get rid of some of these emotions that they're feeling might work in the short term, but they will not work in the long term. In fact, what it's going to do is going to amplify and magnify these feelings um, overall. So your person is very confused. It could be some, you know, about themselves, because I feel like there's some personal factors that are going on here. They may be very confused about the direction they should be taking in life. They may be very confused about 
how they feel about you, how they feel about themselves or even a personal situation or a family situation that they, that they have going on. I also feel like there's more, um, I feel like there's, they're very uncomfortable right now, okay? And this is probably the most uncomfortable that your person has been in a long time. And to me, it feels like this person, the best they can do is try and let go of the resistance, but they're not because they're fighting their feelings. And even like, for instance, they want to reach out and they want to communicate and they want to tell you the truth. But at the same time, they don't want to talk about what's going on with them. They don't want to talk about their feelings. They don't want to talk about, you know, um, what's happening here. So they're trying to resist it. They're trying to, um, they're trying to suppress here. They may have, I feel like they're really caught up in their mind. They are. And the look, the both of you may have had recently some sort of conflict, a fight, a disagreement, an altercation here. But I think there's more than, you know, there's more to this situation than this fight. I feel like even leading up to the fight, a lot of you would agree with me that they may have been already acting very frustrated and very irritated, okay? That's those feelings, um... Of, you know, them being very overwhelmed and them being very confused and perplexed. That's those feelings manifesting themselves here. And instead of just allowing those emotions to be, they're trying to resist. Okay, they're trying to find a way to creatively approach the problem by resisting it. But I feel like it's making things worse. Um... The silent treatment, I don't think your person is really thinking about how this is affecting you. I think they're way, they're just caught up way too much in their own head and in, you know, in what's going on with them emotionally, that they're not really stopping to think how, you know, this silent treatment or this lack of communication, this lack of transparency is translating and how it's coming across, um, you there may be someone else there may have been someone that might have that they may have recently met there may be someone that they may have recently connected with or even someone from the past like an ex who has resurfaced and maybe this person is adding to the perplexity of the situation to the you know they further complicate um the emotions here i feel like your person is there's some sort of decision or a choice that they have to make and they can't decide they're not decided and i think it's not fair to them and i also feel like it's not fair to you um I feel like for a lot of you, you want a lot of questions, right? Because their confusion is rubbing off on you. The fact that they can't make up their mind, the fact that they're sending so much mixed signals and mixed messages to you, that's also further confusing you in the process, okay? Because they're not giving you a lot to work with here. But let me tell you, that's because your person is not certain. If they were 100% sure on you, or if they were 100% sure on this situation, they would have acted consistently with their decision, okay, with their commitment. But I can see that this person is sending you a lot of mixed messages, a lot of mixed signals. They're very back and forth. They are in an emotional tug of war. Um, be careful with the presence of the moon card because everything is not as it seems, okay? Um, they may, I feel like there's a lot more depth to this situation and there's a lot more than you know or there's a lot more than they reveal. There could be someone else, as I've mentioned earlier. Um, there could be something else, okay? It may not have... The fact that they're acting weird or strange or even not communicating, he might not have a lot to do with you. That's the other thing. Because this person isn't communicating or isn't saying much, you're then, you know, you're using all this silence to then you know gather and collect your thoughts and you're trying to sort of you know dissect and piece piece things together like is it something you said or is it something you've done i feel like someone he owes someone an explanation someone he owes someone an apology but it feels like if they come in with an apology or if they come in with an explanation what they would have to do is then they have to you know they have to become honest with themselves. And I feel like this is where the person, because we spoke about this person going to extreme lengths, avoiding feeling their emotions, avoiding confronting the situation. So if they do owe you an, expo an apology or an explanation, what that means is then they have to get truthful and honest with them. And what that would mean for them is that instead of avoiding their emotions, instead of avoiding what they were feeling that and suppressing them, that have to confront them. They have to work through them. I don't see that your person is ready for this. I feel like there's... 
you know, eventually they're going to have to make a decision, you know, or it appears as though their decision is going to have, is going to be made for them. That's what it seems. However, I feel like it's not fair to you and it's not fair to your connection with this person because, you know, they're kind of straddling the fence. They're not, there's a lot that's going on with them, but they're not communicating this to you. I don't think that your person is very expressive or, you know, doesn't like to show their feelings. I do feel like you deserve to know the truth because in a way they're keeping it from you. Okay, and the truth doesn't have to be, you know, that they're being dishonest with you or that they're cheating on you. The truth doesn't have to be an ugly truth. It can be, you know, it can be something like this person is just going through maybe some work issues or some personal issues and they just don't know how to handle that. And it's impacting, you know, their emotional state is then impacting your connection with them. But there is something here that I feel like that you deserve to know um, that might be kept hidden from you or that just might be being, you know, left out out of the equation here. Um, but I can see that there's some sort of decision, some sort of choice that your person has to make and they can't make up their mind here. And this is where you and the relationship is suffering as a result because the person can't, this person can't commit to you because they can't commit to a decision or a choice. You get me? So it's like, you know, there's a lot of confusion and that confusion is then also affecting you and it's affecting and hurting this relationship as well. So they're not, I don't think they're playing games, I don't. Um, it could be that, but I think it's more to do with the fact that this person is so in their head about the whole situation or is in their head about, you know, whatever it is that they're feeling and whatever it is going on for them personally, that they're not, they're projecting some of what they're going through onto the relationship and they're not really un understanding how it's coming across. So I think it's more that. I think just your person is so wrapped up in their head that they're not thinking about how their lack of communication or their silence can be interpreted as, you know, a whole heap of things, right? Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.